I get the vision myself. I had the fear for myself. I get the green like it's cloud. Oh. Okay, I'm very, very excited about this one. We have the first new album in what? Some rap songs came out three, three and a half years ago. So it's been a hot minute since we heard a full project from L. Uh, this is his new thing, Sick. Um, I believe we've had a couple of singles with, from this. I uh, heard 2010, which was fucking amazing. I dropped about a month ago, I think. And Titanic dropped early on in the week. Um, I avoided it because I knew it was dropping today. Yeah, I don't want to waste any more time. Um, I want to get straight into this. Uh, L Sweatshirt, Sick. First track is Old Friend. And I am probably going to need those lyrics up with me because you know L is a fucking Rubik's Cube of a poet. Strong spirit with a body couldn't get asylum across the living. I don't cross the picket line and get the virus. Fever in the cabin. I knew where we was headed. I ain't count no blessings. I sure as shit can measure. Oh, man, just already this instrumental just is. I don't know. It sounds like futuristic, but like nostalgic at the same time. This man opened up his album by saying, Strong spirit where the body couldn't get asylum. The cost of living high don't cross the picket line and get the virus. So, obviously, a reference to you know, the intersection of the height of the pandemic, well, nearly two years ago now, and the Black Lives Matter movement with all the George Floyd protests across the world. Shrill, couple stains that I couldn't shield. My brother brain that we couldn't shield. Couple came, couple went still. Played the shade quite a deal, glad we stayed friends. It's fucking dramatic. As you've come to expect from El Dents, uh, freaking poetic as fuck um, but it's not as murky as um, Feet of Clay or some rap songs so I don't know I don't, maybe this is Earl's foray into you know bridging the gap between his um, hazy woozy extremely experimental style of rapping and writing and accessibility okay so the next song is 2010 which again I've heard many times and I fucking love this song <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger bag for the cohort. Trying to make a million man out of slum dogs. Bet that head crack blunt force. Made it by the skin of my teeth, thank God. O3, mama rockin' Liz Claiborne. How to shit. Yeah, I, I, love, I love that song. Um, so, next song is the title track, Sick. Hey. Oh, this beat is so good. Yeah, spinning the mm. web. Hey, home, it's a shit. Cycle Spider Man. Felt it on the web. You were falling asleep. Something gotta give. Spin another web. Head home. Mess with Fisk like I'm Spider. -Man. I love. I love. It's it's something that Pusha T does where it'll be like a setup and a punchline. You know, oh that's pretty clever. And then they keep going with it. So obviously something. Spin another web. Head home. Mess with Fisk. Fisk is fucking kingpin. And you think, oh that's pretty. That's pretty clever. Then continue it with the Spider Man. Head home. All the recent films. A homecoming. Far from home. No way home. Oh man, oh. Mm. The piano is so quiet and subtle. Do you see what I'm say saying by him? I, well, it sounds like him trying to bridge the gap between his experimentation and accessibility because, you know, the quiet, murky pianos are a characteristic that you would expect from an L Sweatshirt song, but the hi hats and drums are. If you take that out of context, you would think that this is the setup for a trap song. Uh, again, I, you know, very interesting mesh of of sounds with the quiet, murky, watery pianos and the, you know, sequence program trap drums. I thought it was a really interesting mesh. Um, so next song is Vision with Zalupas from Danny Brown's label, I believe. I was the vision myself. I had the fear for myself. I get the green like it's cold. Oh. Make sure my mama do well. All of my bitches do well. All of my bitches do well. My bitches shine like you well. All my bitches smoking the finest. Running again like a tyrant. What they with nothing else fell. When they're still bringing you hell and on the line assembly Tragedy in the street Looking for someone I don't know 
I haven't delved too deep into Zalupa's music thus far, but I really want to because what I've heard from him has been pretty fire. But I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but the way he's flowing here is giving me like very strong Lil B vibes. The gas going, the motor flowing, bitch, what's happening? Remind me where I'm from, that what's happening? Can't be little myself, could it be all we can tell? I just be weary of self, I had to feel for myself. Do you know, from from what I've heard so far, obviously you know Earl is a you know again his his lyrics are so dense, so it takes a lot a lot of listens to get through uh, exactly to pick up properly what he's what he's saying. But from what I've heard so far, this already sounds like a bit more positive and optimistic than well, in comparison to something like rap songs, some some rap songs. Well, for example, he says. Um, uh, I couldn't belittle myself, couldn't be weak as hell. I just had to be weary of self. I had to fend for myself. So, and yet he's he's getting to it. Well, it sounds like he's getting to a point where he's, you know, stopping with these or trying to stop these intrusive, self-deprecating thoughts. Ain't no parading the tank. Fuck out my face with syringe. Fixing my face for any answers. Loading on my paces get thin. I really, 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 really hope. That is not a Joey Badass type bar. Because this nigga just said, um, ain't no parade in the tent, fuck out my face, fuck out my face with syringe. I hope that's him saying, don't give me those fucking heroin needles or anything like that. And that's not him dropping some anti-vax bars. Because if it, if it is, I am very disappointed. But Earl is a very, very intelligent guy. So I'm going to go on the assumption that it's the other thing. I hear the tone of the bell. Tried to tone with a prayer. Know the tone never tell. You gonna see when you get there anyhow. Jesus Christ, that instrumental was fucking amazing. Um, that is maybe one of the actual longest Earl songs I've heard in years. Um, the next song is... Oh, I think this one dropped um, already as well. Uh, Tabula Rasa with Arm and Hammer, but I haven't uh, heard it yet. Um, I believe Tabula Rasa means blank slate in uh latin i did do philosophy a level blah, 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 blah. um but yeah so i'm really interested to see what this is about uh tabula rasa no, i'm lying i did hear this fuck me oh legs my circle shrink is smaller satellite with all my cores yeah. called you so oh my god charge haven't made up my mind if i'm a side ah. stars i slide when i walk damn it into me No, I really, really, really need to get more into Billy Woods. Jesus Christ. They plan the oldies, I'm gonna go ahead and get sweaty. Plus say the tan piece is hell up in Harlem, so meet me cross 110th Street. But I do you know what? I didn't even realize that bar. Oh my days. Um he said, ah, oh, it's hell up in Harlem, so meet me across 110th Street. Helen Harlem and 110th Street are both um what they're both films from the 70s. The you know, across 110th Street. Fucking banger. Don't feel nine in the pool, so yank in the stool. Says a second Mabutu if the DJ plays something small. I know what's real even when I'm feeling bad. Resilient as they build the block. She shit me into the yeah, that's consent getting established. Featherweight, my heart was straight despite baggage. Say symptomatic, but I get sick of the delays. Oh fuck, I didn't, again. Again, listening to this song again, I need to I need to read what he just said. The madness method rampant these days, I let the panic pass me. Featherweight, my heart was straight despite baggage. Asymptomatic, but I get sicker. The delays faster and faster. He says, asymptomatic, but I get sicker and sicker and sicker. So that's, do you know what? I feel like that because I have COVID right now and I have a bit of a cough, but that's it. I'm asymptomatic. But it's like, obviously he's making this in reference to some sort of mental health struggle that he has gone through or is going through right now and i mean i don't know to me what i'm getting from this is like if you're asymptomatic but you're getting sicker and sicker it's like you don't even have to realize what you're going through in the moment to know that later on in hindsight you're like shit i was um you know i was dealing with this i was dealing with that i was going through some sort of trauma and it's the it's a kind of thing where i think a lot of people they'll look back and because they didn't realize it in the moment they think that they're 
you know, their sickness or their mental health struggles aren't as valid as other people's who know that in the moment, shit, I'm going through it. And that's not necessarily true, but it's kind of paradoxical as well because he's saying I'm asymptomatic, but I'm getting sicker and sicker. Like to be asymptomatic would indicate that you don't know that you have this, this sickness, but he is aware of it. So it's an interesting uh, piece of imagery and metaphor, I guess. He pays the calcium on my teeth, babe. Streets of blaze with the on my complacency teeth, babe. and the sea create high sheep break. Amazing, amazing song. All right, so the next song is Lie. Stunt guard day thinking mama would have loved when. With every triplet of trips around the sun, some of the sluts get thick. I'm chipping away at crust. Hold your head, you sit in. Listen, the gay, the, the gay, the way this nigga just puts words together is unlike anyone else. This guy just said, I'm stumped all day thinking mama where the love went. With every triplet of trips around the sun, some of the sludge get thicker. With every triplet of trips around the sun. That is just, that's such beautiful imagery. You are a tango with sun, lemon meringue, wallaby soul stand so down. Lemon meringue bars. With different avenues to stand dangerous. Ooh, explored a couple dangerous avenues and staying dangerous, day drunk. Sometimes the pain sit and fester into hate beloved. I'm working on it. It's worth the time. That is fucked up. So oh, he's, you know, Earl has, he's gone on record that he has struggled with, you know, certain uh, vices and substances over the years. That's, you know, day, day drunk. Um, sometimes the pain sit and fester into hate. That's, I guess, you know, when you're in a dark place and you know, you're dealing with some sort of pain or trauma and you don't have, uh, you know, people to speak to about it or to open up about it, that's what starts to fester and it starts to, I guess, make you resentful of the outside world or, or possibly, maybe in Earl's case. But, you know, he's, again, that's why I said that this album sounds slightly more optimistic because he goes on to say, um, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, do you know what I mean? Like, and that's the first step that you can take is just to, to try. The longer you can stand it, the straighter it must be. Obviously, you know, the lie that you put in your nappy ass hair. I remember fucking straightening my hair when I was like 16 or 17 and I looked so incredibly clapped that I had to shave it off in like a week. <laughs> beautiful instrumental. Again, another, another beautiful fucking song. Um, next song is Lobby Brackets Int, which I assume stands for interlude, but it's like a similar length to most of the other songs. <laughs> I I am not known for hugging the fence. I have fucking conviction in what I do and what I say. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not sure quite yet why that song is distinguished as an interlude because again, it runs a similar length and structure to some of the other songs. Uh, I'd be interested to know why. Um, next song is God Laughs. <laughs> Okay, gen day. genuinely, I'm struggling to hear what he's saying because of the way it's recorded, so I am going to just read the lyrics as I go along. Ah, but this, so, this, so, this is the, the reason why Earl, I, he's gone down this route of making extremely short songs, is that, like, he just packs so much into these, like, mini verses. It's ridiculous. Resort to cantankerous means on the cash play rat races. The cheese sit in the trap, wait and snap, then we break it. Again, he does this thing where it's a setup and it's a kind of punchline. And then he does, he goes one step further with it. He, he sets it, he, the bar is, you know, resort to cantankerous means on the cash play rat races. Then, the, you know, the payoff is the cheese sit in the trap, waiting. Cheese, rat, trap. But then, snap, then we break it. It's snap. He loves doing this shit. Ah, oh, just some of the things, some, just the way booze is a fool's fragrance. This is what I'm saying. Like what he is talking about, yeah, is not anything new. It's not anything new in musical rap. It's the way he constructs these 
it's the way he like articulates what's going on in his mind. He doesn't just say, I have an alcohol problem or you have an alcohol problem or, you know, I'm fucked up drinking liquor. He says, Boo- booze is a fool's fragrance. Dangerous in the middle of the marsh with mosquitoes chop, angle the swamp, marching on on a quest for my sky. Hey, fuck you. Oh, I love that. I love that as well. Oh, my days. He's just packed so much in. Jesus, I can't. Getting a new Earl project is so much fun because, like, you get to just go back over and over again. You always pick up new things. So, the penultimate track is Titanic, which dropped earlier on this week, but I avoided listening to it. The fuck? Get to you straight, no frills. Pass the DD job, call me, really ain't no way none of this shit was. This is it's similar in aesthetic to 2010. Another M. What is th- I've never heard that was some kind of fucking thug carty ad lib. What the fuck? What's the <laughs> escape from the rock? I just got out of the weed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think I already feel a sweatshirt because you know I revenge. Took it slow, saw what it could give me. Hit the road, go a mile a minute. So he said, he said, took it slow, saw what it could give me. I mean, you know, oh. He takes his time. He takes his precious time with his music, and it you know it pays off. Like, think about it. Think about since since I don't like shit came out, he has not dropped a project that's more than like what twenty something. <laughs> so from in the last seven years, we've probably got in terms of Earl solo content. I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half max. Like that's and it's it's all fire. Midtown <laughs> niggas pepper. I don't think I've ever heard an L song like that in my life. All right, we are already at the final track. This is Fire in the Hole. Hit leaning into the crutch, speeding through the logs. Take oh. heat, we took it over to the sword. The shield took a couple chains, but it never broke. Surprise, threw on some boost. I'd rather be with you when I'm high. I'd rather be with you when I'm high. Yeah. <laughs> blood, blood seeping into the most. I needed a quick result. I read it and don't respond. Oh my god. I love the fact that they just let that instrumental just speak for itself. Okay, that's sick. That was sick. Um, so as expected, uh dense, uh, you know, emotionally vulnerable, raw hazy woozy murky but i do think uh you know like i said um a bit i'd say a bit more i'd say that was maybe like his most accessible album since um i don't like shit um I, you could hear him bringing in el- elements of other different styles of rap that aren't you know uh jazz rap or avant-garde or any, whatever you want to call it lyrically there's so much 24 minutes and there's so much to dive into that I can't even really scratch the surface right now. Again, you'll learn more and more with, with more listens. Uh, but just from a first listen, it sounded... Again, you know, it's it's still strange, insular kind of hip-hop, but it felt to me a, it's ever so slightly more optimistic and, uh, like, energised and full of life than previous... Pro- Not to say I don't, you know, like the other, you know, project. Like, some rap songs is still my favourite Earl Sweatshirt project. But um, I think that's why I think that this might be a bit more of an accessible listen to uh, people who may be put off by the, what's the word, the very intimidating nature of a lot of Earl Sweatshirt's music. But yeah, it's one that I can't wait to dive back into it once again. I love short albums. I love being able to rinse the whole thing over and over again, like, you know, very quickly. Um, And I think you're able to distill your core and best ideas down to their essentials and i think oh is like one of the best at doing that so yeah it's l of course it's sick he 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 those are my thoughts on this new l sweatshirt project let me know in the comments down below what you guys think make sure to like subscribe dong the bell and i will see you next time oh man i am sweating because i'm l sweatshirt he he he